BioLNG and standard LNG are very similar. Of course, the big difference is in regards to the climate performance, where BioLNG is a much better alternative. BioLNG can be produced from many different sources. It can be produced from agriculture waste, it can be produced from sewage, but it can also be produced from household waste. In order to increase the production of bioenergy, of course, we need to grow the demand. Then, of course, we also need to increase the production capacity. There is no question that we have a lot of waste available. So with the demand, with production, we can get a lot of bioenergy going forward. Bioenergy can, of course, use the same network as regular LNG. But going forward, there is a new station being built dedicated for bioallergy. Bioallergy is more expensive to produce than diesel. That is a fact. But on the other hand, the policymakers or decision makers, they want us to use more and more bioallergy. So there are in most countries incentives in place, making bioallergy a very competitive uh, alternative to diesel. We believe that bioenergy is an excellent complement to battery electric trucks. Battery electric trucks is more for short and medium transports, while bioenergy has a great opportunity for the longer and heavier transports, where we get the climate benefits of the biofuel. Bioenergy is actually an excellent alternative in long haul transport. The reason is that we have a gas engine with the performance of a regular diesel engine, which is something very positive for long-haul transports. At the same time, using bio-LNG, we get a big climate benefit. We see an increasing demand for bio-LNG. We need to keep in mind that we need to replace all fossil fuel latest 2040. So already today we see investments being done in new production for bioenergy and it's increasing step by step toward a fossil free future. The good thing with our gas engine is that it really doesn't matter if you run it on LNG or bioenergy from a fuel technical perspective. Because the gas engine or gas engine doesn't really make a difference if it's standard LNG or bioenergy. One day you can use bio-LNG, the next day you can use LNG.